Ooh, what's this? I wonder. Let's check it out. Hello everybody, welcome to a new episode of Full Guys. Today we're going to be playing some absolutely crazy creative levels. And also there'll be a, a few little Halloween kind of spooky themed ones later on in the episode. Let's see what happens. So already I am being hit in the face by a hammer. And as you can see, look, I'm a magical little bat. Little, little bat guy. I'm almost all the way through the Halloween themed fame pass at the moment, which is perfect. I'm actually recording this on the 30th of October, but I'm going to try and get it out for Halloween. Should be easy enough, right? These uh, these videos... Oh, we're stuck. These videos aren't too difficult to record, and I absolutely love showing off just the pure skill and ability. <laughs> what is this guy doing? <laughs> Just jiggling about. I don't know if that's a strat, my friend. We'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah, I really enjoy showing off these things, especially since effective. Oops. Oh, look at this. There's lily pads down here. Especially since effectively beating full guys, unlocking marvelous. There isn't really much to uh, crown grind for, except maybe leaderboards, which I don't really care about much. But it will be nice. I'm actually kind of close to five thousand crowns. But uh. My favourite thing at the moment is finding... Oh, someone finished already. Finding really cool custom maps that just show off the absolute potential of this game, which is phenomenal. Look, here we are at the finish line. Oh! <laughs> We're through. Supersonic, guys. Okay, this next one is a Sonic the Hedgehog-themed level. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna guess that most of these levels are made in the Creative Expansion Pack, which, as always, I'll just have to remind you, it's not an official thing, it is a mod, uh, and it's kind of use at your own risk to make levels, that is, and also, oh, I'm very stuck, where am I meant to go here, and um, playing these levels is kind of at your own risk as well, I've had no issue playing it myself uh, on my laptop, but I've heard uh, our wobbling friend from the last round, actually, was playing on Nintendo Switch and they said they were having some serious problems so I wouldn't necessarily recommend trying to play these levels on a Switch or any like lower end laptop or anything maybe even the PS4 I don't know these are uh, obviously there is a reason that there is a limit in this game for how many things you can make and there's also like disconnection issues you can get as well but apart from that where do we actually go here oh down there maybe Oh, it all makes sense. Everything's revealed. Oh, need to be careful I don't launch myself off the edge. It's crazy how different the physics are with speed. Oh, there we go. Another 10 out of 10 level, if I do say so myself. These are just incredible to look at, but they actually play really well as well. Just awesome to see what people come up with in this game. Next, we've got Arcade Surf. Dude, look at this. Wow, so I've only, I've never played any of these, I've only seen screenshots of each of these levels and that is enough for me to know that they're good enough to play with members of my Discord. I did actually record this, or I'm recording this, <laughs> quite early, oh wow, Rebello got some crazy momentum there, um, quite early, this is like 1.30 my time. Uh, and I appreciate that's not a good time for a lot of people to play, but we got a few people to join in. Again, if you're not part of the Discord already, then you can join, and then you might be able to join in with some of these videos. I know Full Guys isn't quite as hype as it was, but these levels make everything good again. It's kind of a shame that these will almost definitely never get added to any official thing being made in the creative pack, but still. Cosmic Vortex. What is this? Oh, I remember this one. So I actually gathered some of the screenshots and codes for these levels a while ago. I basically wait until I've got enough codes for enough levels to make videos on. Oh, this is actually a low gravity section. Awesome. So I basically just uh, hoard the codes for these until I've got enough to make a video. Failing that... Oh, that was lucky. Like, if there's an even crazier map, then I'll just play it straight away. I get really thrown off jumping on this bit. Okay, I think we're actually fine. Over here, I guess. Ooh. Oh, no! <laughs> I don't want to fall off. 
I've got so much to live for. Got to be careful here. Nice. Oh yeah, I think if we just wow, if we just jump repeatedly, it's kind of easier here. Oh, oh finally. All right. Is this the end? I kind of hope so. Oh look, there's a full guys logo. Oh no. What? That? Where's my bean? What in the world is going on? Oh. I think we're basically at the finish line anyway. Into the next level. Kingdom of Nightmares. This looks insane. Whoa. I am in a state of awe. This is unbelievable. Look at this. So all I know from this is it looked cool from the picture and it's actually supposedly an RPG. Like a full on puzzle level made inside Fall Guys. I don't know what we're going to have to do here, but maybe it's a good thing we've got multiple people. Hey, look! It's like a, a roll-off kind of thing in this section. How did... How is this possible? How has all this stuff been made? Oh, we're almost there. Come on. I think that should be enough. Yeah. Wow. Oh. This is just, like, unbelievable to see this in playing Fall Guys. This level took a very long time to load. I want to say, like, a, a full one or maybe two minutes. What do we actually have here? Do we have to, like, unlock this in a different section? Hmm. Look! There's a dead bean here! I don't know why I can grab it. Or maybe I can't. Oh, look at this. There's a whole other room, whole other section. Honestly, just the the sheer build here is incredible, even if there was no gameplay. Just the way this thing looks. What an absolute work of genius, Wash BK, the creator of this level. The amount of artistic things here, the the way that the architecture and everything is built up. I don't know what we do now. There's a little picture of a bean there on the wall. Oh! Where did they get the egg? Maybe someone got it at the beginning and it was in that grab bit? Where do we go now? Oh, I see! So I guess putting the egg in that thing is like part of the puzzle and it's made us an actual bridge. Oh look! A little secret bouncer. A bounce pad. This whole level is incredibly beautiful. A sight to behold. One more. Okay, last time I just failed this final jump. Hey, look, I'm making it! Perfect. What's up here, then? Ah, uh, we've run out of time. Wait, what? Okay, we're gonna do this one again. I think I know what we're doing. Oh, there's a map! This is for the invisible platform section. I'll just follow Rebello. I don't even have to remember the map. I did actually take a picture of it on my phone. But here we go, look at that! We can cross now, we've seen the map. What's this? There's like a gear on the wall? This just looks so amazing. Oh look, we've got all three things unlocked! I don't know exactly what happened, and honestly, I, I'm kind of... I'm kind of pleased that I'm not just going to show everyone watching this video how to do everything. Because it means you can play it yourself. Uh, it looks like we've still got something else to do though. Can I grab onto the edge? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait. Wait a second! We can just cross. Sorry, beans, that died. <laughs> oh, is this blocked at the end? Oh, so the tops of these things are buttons. Look, it's freedom! Freedom for the beans! That might be the most incredible thing I've ever seen in this game. This level is mind-blowing. The graveyard! This should definitely be a Halloween-themed level. Alright, so we did actually play this one once already, and uh, we got stuck, but we managed to get some of the puzzles done. I actually thought this was going to be more of an aesthetic level, like just a lobby you can hang around in. I couldn't have been more wrong. This is a whole other puzzle one, like the previous one. Oh, someone fell. There we go. So there's hidden buttons in the gravestones that activate fans. And then there's like whole other sections. This is crazy. But I think we're going to be able to do it this time. So we can go down here and then there's these like little fan things. Look at this. Look at the red underneath. Again, I just don't really know how these things are done. I've never tried using the creative expansion pack myself, but... I'm so pleased that people are going absolutely ham on it and just making some of the most unbelievable stuff. I mean, this is a full-on, again, like the last level, like a full-on 
potentially solo RPG game inside of Fall Guys. Oh, there we go, that's the button for the next fan. So the gravestones themselves are secret buttons. I think I'm leading the way this time. Now, you see those three um, moving platforms there between the arrows? Yep, that's the first button. So we're going to find the buttons to make them all go downwards. You'll see why. Where is it? Oh, that's it! Okay, perfect. And we can just go straight down here. Oh yes, I actually hit the checkpoint. And now we've got all three of these going the correct direction. Look at that. Now this is as far as we've got, actually. I don't know how much more there is. But now we're up on the other side again. This is so cool and so clever. All of the uh, Core AJ levels are just incredible. Really clever. And they look amazing as well. Oh, we can just jump over. I don't actually know how to activate the platform, but... Oh well. There's still another barrier, though. Could it be this? Oh! The barrier's gone anyway. I don't know how that happened. Someone must have found something. Again, I'm not entirely sure exactly what happened there, but... It looks like we've got to the end. Oh, look! There's a skull to welcome us. Wonderful. Again, the build, the aesthetic, the gameplay, the- Whoa! We're going off to heaven or something. Insane. Cory J Gaming. What an absolute beast of a level maker. Ghoul beans made by octagonal pool. What could this possibly mean, I wonder? Alright, so some of you may have heard of this one already. Not many people played it. Uh, it didn't get put in the game, so... This is my level that I, I'm, I made for the full jam thing. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> I should be better at my own level, really, shouldn't I? Uh, but I thought I'd just get us to play it so I can at least show it off. I'm kind of pleased with how this came out. I spent a couple days making this one. Uh, it's kind of made for a, a few players. It could conceivably be a final. And it's kind of like a trick or treat thing with different paths. You got four different options. And they're kind of two different options from spawn as well. And some of these are more punishing than others. <laughs> but I kind of just wanted to watch people from my Discord suffer trying to get through the map. I actually have only completed my own map a few times, but at least I know what you have to do. You have to be really careful on this bit. If you try and rush, you will not do well. Why did I fall over on my own level? Why is my level being cruel to me? And uh, we're through. Let's see how everyone else is getting on. Alright, they're going for the seesaw mostly, it seems. Oh, nice save. Oh, you waited too long. <laughs> this is actually really funny. Oh, it is so enjoyable watching people play on my own map. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> that looks painful. Oh no, the flip timing. Good attempt. Oh, people are really struggling on the uh, bouncing things. Well, <laughs> four people made it through. Anyway, if you want to try this level, the code is on the top of the screen there, as you can see. That's it for this Halloween episode. I've got plenty more maps for another episode coming up very soon. If you enjoyed this, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.